lead generation. And I'm going to talk about my top method, my new top method, what I'm currently doing to generate leads really fast. And I'm talking about sticky leads, the type of leads where people buy your other stuff and stay a super long time. Lead generation might be is. Now, as always, I want to remind you guys that this is sponsored by Agency Fast Track. If you haven't been to our website, please check us out at www.agencyfasttrack.com. I'm going to start with a quote today, and it's by me. People always ask me what I do, and I always say this. I don't sell services. I solve problems. I don't sell anything. I come in and fix problems. When you go with that mindset, you're going in with the talk about how we're going to do that. The number one question I get asked, how do I get more leads for my business? I get asked that from customers. I get asked that from our community and agency fast track friends. How do I get more leads for my business? The number two question I get asked is what is the best method for lead generation? And today we're going to answer both of those questions. So let's start with why you need a lead, right? Why do I need a lead? And some of you guys might be thinking, duh, because I need to make a sale and I need to get a customer. The end result is to obviously get paid or to get a customer. So we know why we need a lead. So how many do you need? Well, as many as I can get, right? No. And this is where most people fail. They spend all their time getting as many leads as they can. Lead generation is their number one focus and their number one goal. I did the same thing. I can't come here and tell you I didn't do the same thing in the beginning. I constantly tried to get more and more and more customers. But I did it by generating leads. So the problem with this is, what was I I was getting? Well, not enough. And that's where I had to think through, how many leads do I really need? The best answer is, as many as you can convert, no more, no less. Right? As many as you can convert, no more, no less. So why do I not need a bunch of leads? Because I want quality leads, not quantity. When we have too many leads, what happens? We're too busy trying to chase down the leads and trying to, to pitch them and trying to give them information. We want quality because quality will literally deliver the customers we need. Quantity just wastes our time and keeps us busy. So let's talk about the difference between a good lead versus a bad lead, right? When we're thinking about quantity, we take everyone. But when we think about Quality in lead generation, we only want the good lead. So what is a good lead? First of all, they're highly targeted. They're highly targeted. And there are many benefits, many benefits to working with such a lead. Whereas a bad lead would not be targeted and there's very little benefit. So when you throw out a bunch of lead gen that gets everybody, right? We're not highly targeted. A good lead is motivated to work with you. Motivated to work with you. Think about that. And we're going to go over these in more detail in a minute. Whereas a bad lead is not motivated to grow and scale at all. A good lead is the decision maker. A bad lead might have poor decision making power. A good lead understands you're going to have to have realistic expectations versus a bad lead it might simply look for unrealistic expectations. A good lead will be realistic about the budget and a bad lead won't be. I also want you to think about all of these traits and they all end in one thing. A good lead has a high probability of buying from you. A bad lead is just wasting your time because there's a very low probability of buying.
a highly targeted lead actually allows you to tailor your message to get hyper specific about what you want to say, the problems you're trying to solve, and the solutions that you have for them. And I'm I'm seeing, I'm going to pause here. I'm seeing a lot of chit chat that I'm I'm glitching. Has that stopped? Yes, Lisa, you've been going in and out. It looks okay. like either your computer is trying to keep up with some apps or it's your internet. All of the above. Okay. All of the above. I was just on a Zoom call closing a client and it was a recorded meeting and it was trying to process it. So it's probably that. So hopefully it's, hopefully we're done with that. But do let me know if it continues. Do let me know. So highly targeted leads are what we're trying to get at, right? And a great example happened a minute ago. I, I got a call from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They have several locations. And they came on the call asking me, hey, I, I need you to do Google ads for me. Is that a highly targeted lead for me? Nope. Why? Because I don't do Google ads. But it made me think, and I got to talking to them, and I use the same thing that I'm talking to you guys about right now with them. I said to the fella, I said, you know, we don't do that. Um, but we, what we do is when you get the traffic, so whether you choose SEO, which we do, or if you choose Google ads or Facebook ads, what's more important than getting the leads is making sure you have a system that can convert those leads. And in the process of talking to him, I mentioned you want to have highly targeted information, funnels, systems that tailor your message to a specific problem and solution. And he asked me, what do you mean by that? I said, who are you targeting right now? And he said, moms between the age of 25 and 40 who have kids because they do a lot of kids classes for martial arts. I said, so the person who takes your class is a mom that's 25 to 40 years old. He goes, no, 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 it's the kids. I said, so what are you telling the moms? Because the highly targeted message would be more about what the child gets out of the class, not what the parent perceives as a deal. So we got really hyper-specific in the conversation about targeting to boys is different than targeting to girls. So if he's going to pitch moms that are 25 to 40, do they have boys? Do they have girls? How old are their kids? What do their kids do? Do they have confidence problems? Are they being bullied? You see, I'm starting to think about the specific problems because maybe my martial arts solves that by building confidence, by building life skills, by building coping skills, et cetera, et cetera. You see, now he's going to have a highly targeted message. He better knows what he's trying to sell. He's not selling martial arts classes. He's selling a whole lot more than that. So my customers and your customers, when we're trying to get them, it's the same thing. We need them to be highly targeted. I don't want a bunch of leads. I want the right leads. I'd rather have less conversations to make the same amount of sales. I want them to be motivated. I want them to be willing to make changes. I want them to be motivated to grow and scale their business. How can I test for motivation? Pretty simple. Schedule Zoom call. Do they show up? Put things in your process that test to see how motivated they are. What do I mean by that? Send a, send a message where they have to fill out a quick form. This is only going to take you two minutes. Can you do this for me before we meet so I can better serve you? Who do I want to talk to first? The ones that complete my form. Why? They're better, highly motivated leads. See where I'm going with that? I want to make sure they're motivated. I want to make sure they really want to solve their problems. So I'm going to test for that in my process. I also want to make sure that the decision maker, I'm looking for words like, you know, I'll have to talk to so-and-so. Well, how do we get them to say something like that if we don't ask them if they're the decision maker? Somewhere in our process, we want to ask them, 
you know, if, if this is something that I can, you know, provide for you to solve your problem, are you the person who makes that decision? Some people think, Lisa, that you can't ask them that. I sure can. Ever notice when you have to sit through a timeshare meeting, you have to have your spouse there because all decision makers need to be present. If they're not, you have a less than stellar chance of making a sale. A business owner should be able to understand realistic expectations. I want leads that come to me that understand this, not someone who says, yeah, I made a 108,000 last year and I'm trying to find a company. I want to hire them. I'd like to make a million uh, within a year. What are the odds that you're going to be able to 10X somebody's company? Is that a realistic expectation? Or somebody who comes to you and says, you know, I need a website and I need it next week. Is that realistic? No. We want to find people who have realistic expectations. And again, in our process of finding leads, creating methods that find leads. I want to test this in a way that costs me the least amount of my personal time. If I can do all of the things I just mentioned, I've probably got a high probability buyer on my hands, right? I will have, and here, here's our best lead we could ever hope for, targeted business owners who are motivated and empowered to make decisions who will come to the table with realistic expectations and become a buyer. That's what a high probability buyer is. These are the people I want to look for with lead gen. Now, I took a few minutes to set this up because I am going to tell you what I'm doing today. I'm going to tell you what my number one lead gen has become. It's not, if some of you guys have been around me a while, you're going to think you know, you don't. This is brand new and it's a new lead gen method that I'm probably going to uh, be showing you guys soon. But well, I'm going to show you today, but we're not, we haven't perfected it yet. But let's recap. We're looking for leads that are highly targeted, right? So we can get hyper-specific with who we target and what we're going to say to them. We want leads that are motivated. So we're going to create actions to test which of our leads are motivated to work with us. And we want that auto magically done. We want to stay out of this process until we find the buying lead, right? That, that perfect lead. We want to test decision-making by creating steps to move forward in the process. Again, think about it. If we have done all this ahead of time, and then finally with expectations, we create clear goals and measures, then and only then do I want to talk to that lead because that's when I'm going to earn a customer that's going to stay with me for a very, very long time and be the best possible partner I could have. I'm oversimplifying, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Highly targeted, motivated decision makers with clear expectations will make you money. So let's get back to the original topic, right? That I teased on Facebook. And again, I specifically didn't send a bunch of emails and bug you guys a ton of times to come. Why? To prove my point. Who are the motivated people? Who want to really build their business? Who's here today on this call? Right? And I understand some of you guys might be watching the replay because you have a day job, but you're watching the replay. That's good. So let's talk about it. Lead generation. My top method to generate leads really fast. My top method to generate leads really fast, right? And I know this is going to surprise you. I'm walking into businesses. I'm calling businesses. I'm talking to businesses. I'm pitching businesses SaaS. I'm going to tell you one very, very easy free thing you can do that costs you literally 10 minutes of your time. I give a free GBP, Google Business Profile messaging system to my customers. That's how I frame it. Absolutely free, Mr. Customer. I'd like you to get on our platform. And I am going to connect your Google Business Profile 
and turn on GBP chat. You're, and I would just tell them their Google chat feature, right? I offer a free trial of our SaaS platform. I turn on the Google business profile chat and I connect it to the app. It literally takes less than 10 minutes. The only thing they have to do is install the app on their phone. And then if they already have traffic, and this works like a charm with people who already have traffic. If they already have traffic, if people are already going and seeing them online and seeing their good Google business profile, when we turn that chat on, and most businesses, by the way, right? Most businesses don't even know this exists yet. They haven't turned it on. They don't even know about it. It takes their instant traffic and in their head, they all of a sudden start getting messages from people online through Google and buying and asking questions, instant cash. So a customer that I put on the system didn't have the, the GBP turned on. We turned it on and they started getting a couple messages a month. It wasn't a ton, but here's the thing. It was instant. It happened the first month we turned it on. Unlike SEO, where three, four months later, they're like, poof, dude, I paid you all this money. What's going on? I've got nothing. So you don't even have to tell them about this. And this is, this is the really cool thing. This is something you can use to lead gen and you can use it with your existing SEO customers to start getting them some traffic. Right. But again, you're going to put them on your system so they see the leads coming in and they attribute it to me. They say, oh, Lisa, Lisa got me this. Right. Remember, this is a new feature. The Google business profile messaging chat, it's new. Most businesses don't know it exists. So you come in and you be the hero. We haven't had anything this cool since Google business profiles, right? And this is something that if you give it away for free, it gets you in the door. It's easy. You look and see, they don't have it turned on. You contact a business and let them know you're a local company. I want to help you out. Now, I'm not going to go through the method today. I'm not going to teach you everything about it. I just want to introduce you to the idea of giving away a tiny, fractional, small service absolutely free to get in the door. I'm not telling you you have to give away the farm. Uh, and this came up because we've been talking to people in one of our programs about giving things away and people get really nervous. Like, no, I'm trying to make money. Remember, the goodwill you're buying is going to make you money. The immediate win that you get, right? The immediate win that you get is spectacular. Traditional marketing takes time. You send out mailers, it takes time. You do SEO, it takes time. SaaS mode is immediate when we connect it to something they haven't been connected with, especially if they already have traffic. And I know some people right now are thinking, but Lisa, what if they don't have traffic? Are they my ideal customer right now? No. If they don't already have traffic, then why would I come to the table with this? I know what you're thinking. It's how I used to think. Oh, because then I could sell them SEO. And you can do that if that's what you want to do. I instead would rather go find someone who has at least some traffic. And it could be foot traffic, by the way. When I think about the example I gave earlier with the martial arts studios, they get foot traffic. They're off a major highway in all three locations, but they're not converting that traffic. People will call them and they'll give them information and they don't follow up. People will come and take their free introductory lesson and they don't have a system to follow up. I'm gonna come in and give an immediate win by giving them some additional traffic. Remember, SaaS is high margin recurring revenue. Every company in the world wants you on a subscription. I'm getting my customers on a subscription and I'm doing it with this lead gen. This lead gen service automatically puts them on a free service. 
once I show them that free service and they start getting leads, they're going to say, man, what else can we do? And that's when we start adding in and upselling the other features and products we have in our system. And yes, if you wanted to go on to sell them SEO or web development or something else, you certainly can. Right? My goal is not to tell you you have to have a SaaS business, but the SaaS can be one of the most amazing revenue generation and lead generation systems you can put in place right now. Think of SaaS as a utility, right? So you get them on this system. Even if they buy nothing else from you and you're just giving them the free chat hooked up to their GBP and that's it. That's all you gave them. They're not going to quit it. They're not going to get rid of it. They're not going to turn it off. But let's say they buy one thing from you and they pay you a hundred bucks a month. It's basically a utility bill or software. It's not like SEO. It's not like other things where they look at it and go, man, what am I paying for? In this regard, your free get in the door becomes your lifetime access to this customer. Because let's say you're doing SEO for them and they quit SEO. They're probably still going to continue to pay for what you've already put in place along with the SEO. In fact, all of my SEO customers, I've added the SaaS to. But I don't want to digress into that. I want to stay on lead generation and lead generation is a topic. So what can I do after I get in the door with this lead generation? Well, you can add a website or landing page. You can charge for it. You can give it free. In fact, if you wanted to, you could make the website and landing page your free offer to get in the door. The cool thing is when you have a SaaS platform that you're paying very little for, that you can resell or give away, you now have an amazing way to go out there and lead you. So think about adding a simple website. I'm not talking crazy 28 pages that does a ton of stuff. I'm talking about a, a simple website or landing page, right? Using a template that you can build in one to two hours. Do you think that would make the relationship sticky? And the reason I bring up landing pages is some people already have websites. They're not interested in you coming in and redoing their website. But you could help them understand that, hey, when people come into your website, you don't have a funnel, you don't have a landing page, you don't have a highly optimized conversion marketing system to convert the leads you're getting. And that's where I come in. And I can help you with that. Right. So you can add your website or landing page as an upsell. You can also give it away. We're actually giving it away if they buy the other package. And we can talk about that in a minute. Now, what do we call the websites? They're not websites anymore. We've relabeled them. We call them smart sites. And the reason we do that is we help them understand that these websites or landing pages we're creating are connected. They're connected to create lead funnels and generate leads and revenue fast to convert the traffic they're getting or the traffic you will get for them. Think about that. I got a WordPress site. It's a brochure. Great. Paid three to $5,000 for that, right? I'm going to give you a landing page that takes the traffic that comes through that website and converts it. I'll let you try that for 90 days. If it doesn't help, we part ways. No problem. If it does help, then we'll talk about what it looks like to make you even more money. How does that sound, Mr. Customer? Everybody is saying yes. It's easy. Then I come in and we just add a simple automation. We solve one tiny little problem but a problem that really saves the customer time or money and is sticky. And I use the word sticky a lot, meaning, man, they're not going to want to give it back. Remember the first time you got a smartphone? Has anyone been able to pry it out of your hand since? That's what we want to do. We want to give them something that they don't want to give back. All right, I know some of you guys, you, you've listened to me a long time. I sell websites for 3K. 
man, if I try, if, if I give them a landing page, if I give them a website, I'm not going to make any money. I'm losing that 3K. Not true. You're not losing money. You're actually making more money. Because remember, they're staying on a system. I might give them the website if they pay for our base package, which maybe it's $100, $97. Where else can they get a website with hosting, chat, and SMS, and whatever I want to sell them for $97? Nowhere. So instead of selling them a $3,000 website and they run off, I've now gotten in the door with this awesome lead generation. I'm going to upsell them a package at some point, I promise you. So in the old days, I sold them a website, 3K plus hosting. That, that model earned me about $5,700 because the 3,000 to do the website and over five years, $45 per month for hosting. That's been my average. So over five year period, I've made $5,700. When I lead gen, getting them connected and hooked on a system that's just going to add. I can still build a $3,000 website if I want to and then connect the system. So my hosting package is no longer 45. Maybe my hosting package is 97. Either way, I had to build that site. I had to maintain that site, that WordPress site. I spent 10 to 20 hours building it or paid somebody to build it. And then I had to maintain a hosting solution. I had to have hosting and servers and understand all that. But now I don't because I have a system. I rent a system that does all this for me. Time is money. SaaS is passive. So instead of 10 to 20 hours to build a site, I'm creating a site in one to two hours that looks as good as WordPress sites. Now I'm gonna stop here and, and say this. The SaaS package we use, the SaaS platform we use, their templates aren't that sexy. I promise you, they're not that sexy. We've built a better mousetrap. We have sexy templates that we're now using that we can build gorgeous sites in one or two hours that look as good as WordPress sites. So again, if I get them in the door with a free GBP profile or something for free, I can upsell them to a better website, a different website, my website, save them money, et cetera. Remember, we don't worry about what happens after. We need to get the quality, good leads, the desirable leads into our system, and then we'll figure out what the best approach is after that. Now, remember I made 5,700 bucks over five years. I spend less time, sell it for 97 a month for five years. Mr. Customer, you don't have to pay me up front to build this website. I'll, I'll build it for free. But you do have to get on a package with us and you get all this other stuff. So it's kind of like you're getting the website for free, right? The messaging, and we'll help you guys with that over time. We're going to you know, help teach that. Um, we're probably not going to teach it on our Monday mindset. We just can't. There's not enough time in here. But what happens the minute I can upsell some services on that package? and up them to 197 a month. On the traditional model with just the website, I most likely couldn't upsell them anything because it just wasn't built that way. They got their website, they hosted, see you later. Then I had to go try to figure out SEO packages or something else. Now I'm upselling them to 197 a month for more money than that 5,700. And if I can get them on a 297 package, you see where I'm going here. In five years, I've got a more valuable client because I gave away a website. Now, this is not including if you upsell them SEO, if you upsell them other type of marketing services. This is me just getting in the door. And the reason why I'm showing this method is if you've been around me long enough, and if you haven't, here's a clue. I used to build websites to get in the door to sell SEO. It was a very complicated way to land SEO clients, but it worked. But man, it took a ton of time and a ton of effort and a ton of energy and a ton of their money. This is a better model. Even if you don't want to build the websites, even if you don't want to do the SEO, it's a great get in the door strategy. And it's my number one today. Remember, free, when we give things away, equal money 
later, right? I can give something for free and make money through upsells and usage and things like that. It's easier these days and everyone's doing it. It's very hard to compete with everyone else doing it. So you got to jump on. You got to start giving away something for free. You got to get them hooked. Once I'm in the door, right? It only costs me an hour of my time. And we're even working on ways to automate the onboarding. So we don't even have to help with the onboarding or we do very little in the onboarding. So why, why would I do it this way? And if you guys have been around the internet a little while, you've seen Wix, Shopify, Squarespace. They've actually pioneered this space. They've made it mainstream. The difference is when you get Wix, it's self-serve. When you get Shopify, it's self-serve. When you get Squarespace, it's self-serve. We're doing the same model, except it's not self-serve. Mr. Customer, we're here for you. We're local. We're here to help you. Oh, is it like Wix? A little bit, except better. More features, more availability. Wix is just really a web platform with a few little features. Now, Shopify and Squarespace, totally different, right? They have a lot more features and a lot more integrations. But it's still, fact, it's self-serve. And those aren't my ideal customers. My ideal customers are people who think, I don't have time for this. I don't want to do that. I want to grow my business and focus on my business. I want to hire a marketing company to do my marketing. Right? Remember, we don't want a ton of leads. We want good leads. People who get it. I've had very little resistance to using this method. And I've been testing it out over the past nine or 10 months. It's the easiest lead gen method hands down, I've ever done. I've got two really hyper-effective lead gen methods to get customers. One of them, as you know, is my new business sales letters, still works amazingly well. But it takes me a lot of time to implement. And the service I used to sell was very hard to do. So I've kind of melded the two together. I still send out my new business letters. And if you don't know what that is, if you're new to our community, just shoot me a message, whether it be on Skype or on Facebook or somewhere, and I probably have a video I can send you about it. But our new business letters now are changing their stripe, so to speak, to what I offer to get them in the door. And so far, nine out of 10 people I talk to say yes. Nine out of 10. Now, there's always that one person, oh, I have a system just like this. I don't need this. I'm not going to try to talk them into it. Great, thanks. Move on. But the other nine probably haven't seen anything like it or they've been with companies that aren't helping them. So very little resistance. So again, to be clear, I still do have to have a way to get in front of people. So I'm still employing some of my old methods of getting in front of them what I'm doing is giving them a different sell, a different offer, something that I think is easier for them to say yes to. It's hard to turn hurt. It's hard to turn down free. And over time, we're going to earn money. So is that it? Well, yep. And no, right? Yes and no. This method is still something that we're testing and we're playing with. And when I say method, right? So I'm, I'm melding and I'm merging and we're playing with cold email and this, and we're playing with the print and new business letters with this. And we're playing with other different ways to see how this works. And I know that the templates are gonna be key, right? You guys don't have time, nor the energy, nor the passion, probably nor the patience to go out and build these templates for these quick and easy websites, these quick and easy funnels, things like that. That's all right, because you're in our community, right? We're going to do it. We're going to perfect the process, create the assets to make it simple. Now, you can do what we just talked about. There's very little that won't work when it comes to just going out there and saying, hey, can I turn on your GBP? 
and then connect it to some type of SaaS software that all of a sudden they start getting messages, right? It's the rest of the process that we're going to create and create all the assets for and make it simple for you guys. Now, normally at the end of these calls, we just say, hey, it's great. Hope you have a great day. But I also want to get some feedback from you guys. So whether you're here live, whether you're watching the replay, does this sound like something that you would like to give a try? If you had a way to do it and you had clear, concise instruction, do this, do that. This is how you lead Jen using Lisa's new method, which by the way, is going to be a mashup of some of my old and my new together. If you would like to give it a try, I want you to say yes, try, let's go, whatever you want in the chat, in the comments. And again, if you're watching the replay, put it there. Because we are going to get a select group of people to try some of this stuff, okay? Now be crystal clear. The only place you're gonna even have access to even get on that list is in our VIP group. If you don't know about our VIP group yet, you need to know about it. Our VIP group is exclusively where you will be able to get these types of methods, these types of templates and everything having to do with some of these methods and then how to grow that business, right? We're not going to sell this outside of the VIP. I'm not going to put a course together outside of the VIP in, in the near future. I can't say never because you never want to say never, but I don't project that we're going to go outside of that VIP mastermind group. Now, some of you guys, I'm looking at the list, you're already in the VIP group. So you should be getting excited right now uh, because uh, Danny and myself in the VIP mastermind group, Danny and I spent all weekend working together on some of this new stuff and the templates. We're so dang excited. Uh, this girl here can't even sleep. I've been up till 4 a.m. I'm getting up at 6 a.m. I can't turn my mind off because we are sitting on a gold mine opportunity and I am going to make my next you know, $5 million with this system. So uh, again, that's something, it's up to you what you wanna do. I always come here free every Monday to feed our minds, to get us pumped, to get us excited and to get the Monday mindset going so we can have an amazing week. However, today I wanna get you excited about coming over and joining our group. So if you're interested or you're not in the group yet, right? And you wanna get on the fast track to success. I want you to schedule a 30 minute call with me, a 30 minute call. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to give you a sneak peek, right? We're going to give this sneak peek to our VIP group next week. But if you're not in that group and you want a sneak peek without joining the group, you have to get in touch with me. And the only way to do that is type strategy. So if, again, if you're here, type strategy. If you're not in our VIP group, if you are, don't need to do it. We'll be doing this next week in our VIP group. However, if you're not, type strategy in the comments, okay? This is a brand new lead gen method. We're perfecting it. It's working. I want to get it into you guys' hands as quick as possible. Now, that doesn't mean you wasted your time here if, if you say, I don't want to join another group. That's fine. You just learned. I just told you exactly what to do. You just need to go build that mousetrap yourself. That's all. Okay, that's what I have for you guys today. That is lead generation, my top method to generate leads fast. 